Well, what's up guys? Travis Height here with High Caliber Strength Performance. On this episode, we're gonna go over the Renegade Row. The Renegade Row is a multi-joint based movement and that is gonna be a full upper body movement with a ton of core emphasis all the way down to the lower extremity. Stay tuned, we'll cover this one shortly. What's up guys, Travis Height here, High Caliber Strength Performance. This episode we're going over the Renegade Row. You will need two dumbbells for this one. If you're newer to it, start light, make sure your positioning is nice and level, aka I want your basically your butt to be in line or slightly above your shoulders. If your butt starts dipping down and your back starts arching out, let's work on keeping that form right before we even touch going heavier in weight, okay? So I start with the dumbbells fairly close together and I like to keep my feet a little bit wider. Try not to really rotate in the body line side to side. We're trying to maintain a nice straight prone plank row. Okay, with control, we're gonna go from right to left. Sometimes I'll scale this movement and have people just do a single arm at a time or try to alternate while keeping position over the top, rowing the thumb to the armpit, side to side. On this exercise, if you're going more strength-based, I would say anywhere from eight to 12 reps total. If you're going for more muscular endurance to so just toning, then probably more like eight to 10 reps per side. So if it's lighter, you can obviously move a little bit faster, more efficiently. If you're going heavier, focus on keeping those hips square, the body aligned, and then slowly control that pull and that release. And that is the Renegade Row.